I think gamification is a lot about getting students or giving them the opportunity to try things multiple times. So I think, uh, you know, typically you read about gamification is about just introducing video game elements into a course, some sort of fun level of competition. But I actually think the real lesson of gamification is in the trial and error method. So if I think of, you know, back when I used to play Super Mario Brothers or something like that, the idea that, you know, you kept trying that challenge until you were able to overcome it and that there wasn't a huge penalty for dying, for instance. Like you would start again or start at the level where you, you kind of achieved a certain level of mastery. So I think when I translate that to a learning environment, understanding or, or scaffolding assignments so that they actually have multiple attempts at getting to a, a good final project, right? So giving them the opportunity to submit a draft or an outline and get some of that feedback early on to know whether they're off track or not. A major component of the course involves the students in their teams of four participating in uh, the playing of a simulation game. And in the simulation game, they are making a series of decisions in terms of a company that they are involved with. And um, after the decisions are made, they get involved in evaluating the quality of the decisions they made in terms of the impact of those decisions on their performance. And so having the students um, analyzing a certain data that has resulted primarily from decisions that they made, I think establishes a, a stronger connectivity. The students are looking at um, things, numbers that have resulted from decisions that they have made and so they maybe feel a little more accountable and a little more engaged and hopefully then that will improve the quality of the analysis. One of the things that I've tried with positive results is to have multiple attempts for online quizzes and only taking the highest score. By giving multiple attempts, students have multiple chances to practice the materials and by taking only the highest score, they are encouraged to make multiple attempts. In fact, they do obtain better scores in later attempts. One thing that I've noticed is that some students would actually make further attempts after having obtained 100% in a previous attempt. And that's exactly the kind of behavior that I want to see as an instructor. It is definitely a first step towards mastery. My second year course actually is probably the one that I've employed gamification in more so than, than the third year course that I typically teach. Uh, when the students are coming up with assignments or producing their assignments, they always work in groups uh, and they I, I, I basically produce some sort of competition that the students have to take part in. Um, and the, in the first assignment for the, the course that I'm teaching at the moment, basically the students are required to produce something and then they themselves are judging everybody else so it becomes a contest and whoever ends up winning that particular contest gets an extra bonus. And I find uh, just having a, a bonus mark or whatever associated with an assignment does get the students uh, far more engaged, they're more interested because they see like, hey, this can help me out in the long run if I have a you know, a bad day and I don't do so well in the quiz or the midterm or the final or whatever. Uh, so from that point of view, the, the bonus points do help gamify some of the assignments. The other comment I would make about gaming theory that I think um, has a lot of value is, is the aspect of competition. Uh, to have students involved in competing against each other, I think creates a higher level of engagement and motivation for them. Um, the, the, the particular uh, simulation activity that we use in this course is called Mike's Bikes. And it is a simulation activity where students and their teams are making decisions regarding a bicycle manufacturing or assembly business. And I can, I can invariably cite many, many students who uh, three, two, three years after they've taken the course, when um, they see me or when they have an opportunity in the context of talking about some of their experiences will invariably refer back to this simulation game and how much fun they had in this game and how much they were engaged with this game. And it's proof to me beyond, I think, any um, shadow of a doubt that, that the game in and of itself 
is a great motivating factor for uh, having the students involved in activities that, that uh, will facilitate their learning in the context of the material taught in this course. If I employed those kind of strategies, those gamification strategies, I don't think any student would say, oh, it was, it was great because of gamification, right? So I would never actually use that term with students because I think they would roll their eyes, right? These are the students who spend 20 hours a week playing Xbox and, and that sort of thing. So the idea that, that the, the tenants of video games somehow work in their education, I think they would laugh at. But the reality is, um, I think what they really appreciate is being helped along so that it isn't a vague final project that increases anxiety over the 10 week semester or 12 week semester until they hand it in at the end, that they actually get this feedback along the way, this sort of formative uh, feedback along the way. And, and that's really valuable.